Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to help you in setting up your own virtual lab uh, if you're trying to clear CH certification exam or you, if you're aspiring to become a, a cybersecurity professional or if you're trying to get into a career uh, that consists of cybersecurity uh, skills. Right, so why is it very important guys for you to set up your own virtual lab? That's because you need to learn all those um, exploits and techniques that attackers use uh, in their daily uh, daily life okay so for you to build defense against those attacks okay so that's why it's very important for you to practically learn stuff uh, rather learning stuff that are more theoretical all right so what I'm going to help you with is just set up a virtual lab that could be uh, a Windows 10 operating system or Windows 8.1 operating system or a Windows 7 operating system that is hosted on a virtualization software platform like Oracle VirtualBox or VMware Workstation Pro. All right, so I have Oracle VirtualBox as well as a VMware Workstation Pro 17 version. So let's quickly begin, guys. Firstly, you need an ISO file, okay, uh, for you to be able to. Uh, install it on a virtual virtualization platform firstly what you need to do is you need to get inside this uh, microsoft website all right i will post this uh, url on description box below do check out i am going to prefer windows 10 okay that's more challenging to exploit uh, vulnerabilities in it okay and it's going to be and all these things are going to be uh, for your educational purposes only guys all right so you are going to carry out mock charges on your own virtual labs, right? So firstly, what you need to do is just click on the download now button that will help you uh, downloading your software called installation media, all right? Media creation tool.exe is going to get downloaded. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is just going to delete this one off since I already have one downloaded uh, for my own purpose right so I'm just going to run it okay as soon as I run it this pop-up window appears guys getting a few things ready I just need to wait for some time and I'm just going to say accept to this pop-up I'm just going to wait for some time here. All right, as soon as I do that, guys, I'm just going to select second option which says create installation media and just say next to it. And again, I'm just going to leave all defaults here and just say next to it. And then after which, I will just select the second option ISO file. I need the ISO file for me to be able to import the ISO file into the virtualization platform, whatever you're going to prefer be it uh, Oracle VirtualBox or uh, VMware Workstation Pro. So just go to say next to it, that is going to create me an ISO file of the operating system. So I'm just not going to do and show you live over here because uh, this is a 4.6 gig file guys. So it's going to take at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes of your time based on your network internet speed. All right. And I'm just going to save it wherever I want to save it. I've just specified uh, downloads Win10 ISO folder. Okay, I'm just going to click on save and it's immediately going to begin the export uh, and download process. So that's going to take some uh, time guys. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to waste your time. You can try that and it's not going to give, uh, give you up with any issue. It's just going to be straightforward. It's going to auto save it on the directory where you will be uh, wanting it to save. Right. And once after uh, the file gets saved over here, like I'm just showing you here, right which is the disk image file the iso file which is around 4.6 gig gigabit of size right and after uh, which i'm just going to show you how to uh, deploy it on your virtualization platform all right or the virtualization software so we'll meet in the next video guys thank you stay safe Ta -da.